Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial from infixitonline.com. For you YouTube visitors, don't forget to check out the website infixitonline.com. You can re you can request a tutorial on my site. Um you want to learn how to perform certain tasks on your system or how to use certain applications. Go to the website on the left hand side and click on the tutorial request link. All right? And of course, check me out on YouTube youtube.com slash online. that's the name of my channel alright don't forget to subscribe and leave comments alright so in this tutorial we're going to show you how to install a device driver on the Windows XP system and it pretty much works the same for all Windows systems whether it's Vista all the way down to Windows 98 alright now I'm going to show you how you know when you're lacking a device driver now for the most part if you reinstall a Windows XP um, you'll notice things like maybe your uh, your screen the objects on your screen is real big and the resolution is not there that says that obviously you don't have your video driver or if you don't have any sound you don't have a sound driver and um, on the reinstall the worst case scenario can be uh, your network card driver is not connected now um, this case it makes it bad if you don't have your driver disk from your PC manufacturer for instance if you have a Dell system or if you have a freshly built system this can be a headache because you will have to get online PC or second system is what you're gonna need in that scenario alright so uh, what I'll do here is we're gonna go to device manager actually have it open and close that and what you're going to do is you're going to select on start right click my computer and select on properties you can also go straight through control panel too but this is the way that I always use then select on the hardware tab it's the hardware tab here and then device manager okay now right away you see PCI modem with that yellow question mark there that's letting you know that it doesn't have a that is missing a device driver for that device and whatever yellow question marks you see here you know that Windows doesn't have the device driver for that device and for um, those who don't know a device driver is basically just instruction let Windows XP know how to operate that device or Linux or whatever operating system you're using that you know needs device drivers now with this system I'm currently using this is a Dell laptop a Latitude C400 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Dell website so we can download that driver okay now one thing I must mention let's say you have a custom built PC okay and it's not a um a major manufacturer like Dell or XP or Compaq etc now if you don't have that disk for your motherboard what you will have to do is you need to know the, the name of your motherboard the manufacturer and the model number and you can search that site on the internet through Google of course let's say you had a, um, a Asus board you type in Asus support go to their home page on their support page and you just look for downloads and drivers okay now if you don't have the idea and you're not really comfortable with opening your system up I recommend a software called Advisor. It's a PC audit software. I'll type bring it up here so you know. Uh, okay. You see it shows up here. It's a free software you download. And what it does is, as I said, it's a PC audit. So once you install this on your system, it'll bring up everything about your system from the motherboard down to the memory, the amount of memory you have and you can take your motherboard manufacturer and the model number from there and then go to their website and get the drivers and in some cases it will recognize um, exactly what devices you don't have installed and you do but but that's not guaranteed alright and I also have a future tutorial on um, advisor or BLARC advisor it's a nice software that lets you know a lot about your system okay but now when you're dealing with major manufacturers like Dell, HP, etc., you could just go to their site. So what I'll do is I'll go in my Google. I'm using Firefox up here. They have the 
uh, the basic Google search and I type in Dell support see the Dell support home page here select on that and then drivers and downloads okay now there's two ways you can go about this on the bottom of your system you should have a service tag you can type in your service tag and it will know the system automatically or you could do it the long way by selecting a model now this is a laptop latitude in a C400 laptop there we go here and then you select on the confirm button okay and that brings you to the C400 download page now of course the operating system we're working with is Windows XP the language is English and you can go to the categories here and pick out whether it's BIOS, audio, or what have you. I just go through the these options myself and of course the modem is communication. I have fourteen different downloads for communication. Now this is where things can get a little tricky at. Now one thing I noticed like with Dell whether you put your service tag number or you pick out the model itself it still will give you the option to download all the modems and that's what we're looking for a modem in this case all the modems that was available for that particular system that doesn't necessarily help you if you don't know what modem you have you just need to, the driver because um you can find yourself installing drivers that you don't even have and it can be a headache All right, but for this case I know that I have a PC tell modem on this system so I need to go down and find that and you see it here PC tell driver make sure you download the driver and not the HTML then it's a patch upgrade also but you see the driver there select on download now that's the file there so now we want to install a driver of course so you double click on the file it tells you the system it applies to continue then this is where it's going to install in the C directory Dell drivers you can change this put in your documents and what have you I had this on the system already that's why it gives me that but I'm going to just say yes to override it okay automatically